In Factory Studio, there are many ways to represent data. Bar graphs, meters, tachometers, trend charts, and many, many more. It may be that you want to represent the value of a tag, not numerically, but with text corresponding to the value. To do so in Factory Studio, we provide a feature called Enumeration Sets. So here's how it works. If you go to Run, Dictionaries, and then click on the Enumeration Sets tab, this is where you define your enumeration set. In this case, we have one called Run States, where a tag value of 1, 2, or 3 will correspond to a text being shown as On, Off, or Auto. We also have one called Enum1. This shows a tag state of 0 through 12 will be represented by the value in text. So the first step is to define the enumeration set. The next step is to link your tag to that enumeration set. The way you do that is go to Edit Tag Objects. You define your tags and under the Parameters column you'll find that you can specify an enumeration set. If your parameters column is not visible, you just need to right click on any column header and make sure that you click on it. Once you have defined the enumeration set that that tag will be linked to, the final step is to go to the display. In this example, we have two sets of values we're going to be showing. One is for the tag called level that we displayed over here, edit tags level and run state. The other is for the run state itself. For the level, we've tied it to a slider. For the run state, we've created a button with on, off, auto indicators. To show the value of a string, you put a text object onto the display using the text object here, text output, and you enter value of tag as text equals, that's just completely arbitrary text. We're using it to label what we're showing. And then you put tag dot level dot value as string. To show just the regular value in numeric form, use the tag dot level specification. Down here we have three buttons enabled. The first button or writes a value to run state of a value of one. The second writes a value of two, and the third writes a value of three. So when you go to run your project, run startup and my project is already running so I can just switch to that display page you see here's the slider and where level was used with the enum1 enumeration set we see the value of the level tag expressed as a corresponding text down here on our multi-state switch we see we press the value it sets the value to 1 and the corresponding text on is displayed when we press the off button, the value of 2 is set and the corresponding off text is displayed. Finally, the auto. So there's a brief example of how to use enumeration sets to display text values corresponding to integer tag values. If you have additional questions or for more information, please visit us at www.tatsoft.com or call 855-TATSOFT. Thank you, and we look forward to working with you soon.